Hello and welcome back. This is Double Willy Debbie, and this is episode 99 of Ocean Block. Uh, so, <laughs> what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go check out what I've been doing out at the reactor. <laughs> so, check it out. Boop. Okay, so I got the circuit put in, so now it's activated by this redstone signal. And if the temperature gets high enough, it'll trigger this, which will um, flip the switch, basically. It'll turn this off, and this will be on until I come and hit the button, which then turns this one on restarts the reactor. So cool beans. <laughs> um, I put a little more missile fuel in there because we were down to like maybe thousand. Um, I've been oh, look at all of these pumps I've got going. I put in a whole nother side over here. Um, so that is 30 pumps. Uh, finally made it start producing enough water uh, to where I can bump up the burn rate. Right now I'm up to two. It's stable. It's been here for a while. Uh, but at two millibuckets a tick, I'm still only producing 56,000 FE a tick, which my other reactor could do that. <laughs> so I don't see that this is worth it, um, other than the fact that it's creating uh, polonium for me um, at a good little rate. Check out how fast that polonium is coming in. Um, and I wonder, can I upgrade this thing? No, it doesn't have a button or anything. Okay. but it is more than keeping up. <laughs> this thing can keep up with the, uh, the amount of radiation I'm producing right now. But what I need to get more power out of that because if I want to run one of those power pots, I need, I need more. <laughs> so I want to see how, how high I can get this with that many pumps. Um, so I've been slowly just uh, monitoring it as, as I go up high in my quarter to see if it, you know, if it starts draining. And I wonder if you can see how much water is in here. is going down. It seems like the water, uh, the pumps are keeping up. None of them are empty. So I think we're good to maybe bump it up again. Uh, let's go a little bit further and do a three. Got us up to 400. Okay, it still looks like the, the pipes are full. And it looks like uh, these guys are all still full. So, how much are we producing now? 85,000 FE. 
that's about how much one of my reactors produce. Only my reactors in there eat through redstone when they start having to constantly maintain that. Um, so we need more. We need more. And it looks like we're keeping up. So I'm going to go ahead and bump it up to four. That's got the temperature to 409, which isn't bad. Still full. Uh oh. Yeah, it's still staying full. getting that uh, extra water through there and from all the pumps. Now we're producing 114. We're starting to get there, but um, I want more. So let's see if we can do seven. That's got the temperature up to 437. Uh, that was intense. Um, actually, okay, I don't know. Let's let's try to maybe turn the sound down. looks good at 7. So let's try bumping it up to 10. No water loss so far. Let's check the pipes. That looks fine. Okay. Um, 
think we're good. Uh, so, how much? 285,000. All right, let's let's do the unthinkable and let's go to 15. Set 5, 10. Uh, looks good. Okay, it doesn't look like it's draining out yet. I'm scared. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's... Uh, the first time I turned it on, it just, woo, wicker bluey really fast. So to for it to do nothing. Oh, but look at that, 428,000 FE a tick. We're doing good. How much do we have over here? 3G, nice. Um, I have nothing pulling out of this right now. Um, oh, it's coming together. Okay, we got a solid 15. It, it appears stable. Also, I went ahead and chunk loaded this uh, because it it wasn't, uh, and I definitely don't want to leave the area uh, with my pumps unloaded, so <laughs> um, I think that, uh, oh, I only got like two more chunks to claim that I can force load, so <laughs> I hope this lasts. <laughs> All right, so 15 looks stable. Uh, let's try 20. Okay, it's at 556. The water appears to not be going down. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Uh, I'm gonna be running out of thistle fuel, uh, which is good. We're at 20 millibuckets, and what does that get us over here? 570,000 FE. That is pretty cool beans, and check it out. My very first Polonian pellets. I got nine of them in there already. That is sweet. <laughs> so we'll be able to do stuff with the Polonium now. Um, yes. Uh, but I had to have, I only have like 20,000 thistle fuel made, so I may have to go through and upgrade all of these machines. None of them have upgrades in it, uh, so that will help with the production of thistle fuel. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. This looks stable, too. I don't know what happened. Oh, boy, it's burning up that thistle fuel. Yep, uh, 20 definitely seems stable, and I'm not going to be able to test it much higher because it's going to run out of thistle fuel before. Yeah, it's got very little left. Bye bye, thistle fuel! <laughs> it was nice knowing you. But it was good to see you go at the same time. No, 
we go. Well, now we know we can still, we, I still have more to play with um, on that. I believe I can get more out of it. Um, so maybe we could get 25 or 30 still, because it doesn't seem to be draining the water at all. Um, so that's, that's pretty nice. Um, how much power did we wind up getting out of that? 5.64 GFE. I don't know what the G stands for, but it's impressive. <laughs> um, so that's, that's pretty cool. I will work on getting all of these machines upgraded, whatever they can be upgraded with. Um, to help with the, the production of our thistle fuel now that we can officially use it up. Um, will definitely be coming in handy. Um, once we can uh, produce this uh, consistently at a rate at which we can burn it and produce power. So yeah, once we find out how much we can burn with this setup, uh, we'll see if it matches our uranium production from the, um, the sluices. And if it doesn't, we may have to uh, put in, make a uranium seed. Is there a uranium seed? Uh, there is uranium seed. Okay, so if it's not enough uh, to keep up with our reactor, we can always make uranium seeds. Um, <laughs> and then put it in the power pot that the reactor is going to be running. <laughs> that would be, um, yeah, you need the reactor to make enough uranium to run the reactor. So, yeah, it's a vicious cycle. Uh, but I will get to those things uh, in between episodes, get those machines upgraded, and see how much higher we can push our reactor to, to get it to increase its output and make us more awesome. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!